Um, this is a lesson we're going to talk about major and minor arpeggios and uh, a minor seven flat five arpeggio may even squeeze that in there a little bit um, in the major scale and um, these are four note uh, patterns that use major and minor arpeggios and I'm going to do it in the key of G and it, you can move it around to any key so um, uh, a G chord we know a G chord is one three five and then there's the eight got a G triad and a G uh, major arpeggio with the with the octave on it. Um, so the major chord gets kind of muddy down in this range. Even in this range, it's not you know super clear. So what we do is we take the third, we put it up an octave. The third is of a key uh, in the key of G. The third is a B. And so we're going to put the B up here. And then we fill it in with the 5 and the 8. So 1, 5, 8, 10. That's a 10th. Okay. So that's a G major uh, four note arpeggio. With the, with the uh, third put up an octave. Okay. Um, so we can play, it's kind of like triplets. And then uh, in the key of G, the two is A minor. So um, the, the pattern's almost the same, except for you have to just uh, move the, uh, the tenth back a half step so the minor's. That would be the two chord, two minor chord. So we're going to move this up to here. So. Else is the same one five eight and then a minor tenth there's your minor tenth if you want to play an a major it would just be so we're going to stick with the minor we're going to stick with diatonic you know arpeggios in the key of g so, so there's your g G, A minor. Okay, if you want to walk it on up to the third, that would be a B minor in the key of G. So that would be right here. Same pattern as the A minor. Okay, then uh, walk it on up to the four. And the four is major. And so it's the same as G. So the one and the four and the five are gonna be major. All right, so now we're up to C, so now we're gonna go up to uh, D. You 
got your one, your two minor, your three minor, your four minor, and then we slid up and we did the same pattern as the G and the C on the D. Okay, now we're gonna move on up to the uh, six, which is E minor. Okay, and that's the same as the uh, A minor and the B minor. That's the six minor. Okay, and then finally we come to our seven. And we know that seven minor seven flat five, F sharp minor seven flat five. Um, when we were talking about tenths, we were just calling that a, a diminished chord, even though we weren't playing the, the, the flatted five, uh, the diminished fifth, we were just, so that's why that was up there. Okay, and uh, so F sharp minor seven flat five. So this is a little different pattern. So think of it as a minor. flat five. So there's where you get your um, tritones. And that gets kind of dark, so you can make it a minor if you want to. Technically, it's a flat five. Uh, in most of the music, you know, most pop music is going to use a. So that actually is like a, um, seven over five. You know, with a, with a third in the bass you're really getting a G chord in there. I mean a D chord. So like a um, B over G, or G over B. It's a little more consonant sounding. If you're trying to play anything, you know, it's got a little more um, speed to it. This is a little harder to execute. So what you can do is either avoid playing a four note chord there or just um, Simplify it or just leave out a note. Ooh. you decide how you want to accomplish that but uh, the, you know let's work through it again so G major A minor B minor C minor uh, C major D major E minor Seven flat seven. Seven minor seven with a flat five.
okay, so you don't have to tap it. I'm only tapping it today because this is some technique that I'm working on. This is what I'm working on. And so, you know, you can play it as a... If you're playing a five string, you can play it in position in a more vertical way. It gets a little challenging, you know, when you get up here. And the fingernail gets in the way.